will happen to your body if you drink cinnamon tea every day. Did you know that cinnamon is considered a super spice that naturally cures various diseases and protects against cancer? But did you know that there are actually two different kinds of cinnamon? And you should probably stay away from one of them. If you want to become the master of your health, put a like and we'll get started. Today we're going to look at the science behind the medicinal properties of cinnamon and how it can help treat a variety of conditions. From less serious to more serious conditions such as digestive problems, and the latest evidence for using cinnamon to treat more serious neurodegenerative diseases. Be sure to watch to the end because there are some simple tips and recipes on how to add more cinnamon to your diet, as well as making the world-famous alcoholic cinnamon drink, glue wine. At certain times in history, cinnamon was considered more valuable than gold. As one of the oldest and most revered spices, the Egyptians used cinnamon for culinary and aromatic purposes, for medicinal purposes, and even for mummification, starting about 4,000 years ago. Ancient cultures also recognized cinnamon for its potential as an aphrodisiac. Known for its warm, sweet, and spicy flavor, cinnamon primarily uses its bark to create the cinnamon sticks and ground powder we're familiar with. However, other parts of the plant, leaves, flowers, fruits, and roots are also used. The leaves are often used to make curries and the flowers are dried for tea. While cinnamon has many culinary uses, it has also been highly valued for its medicinal properties throughout human history. But what are some of its most popular and traditional medicinal uses? Cinnamon's many health benefits are due to its unique active compounds and properties. Cinnamon contains powerful components that have anti-inflammatory effects and give cinnamon its distinctive flavor and aroma. Cinnamon is also rich in polyphenols plant compounds that have powerful antioxidant properties. In various laboratory studies analyzing antioxidant capacity, cinnamon has shown better antioxidant properties compared to other spices. Now learn seven good reasons why you should drink cinnamon tea every day. Number one, lowers blood glucose levels. Cinnamon effectively regulates blood sugar levels and has noticeable benefits for people with type two diabetes. Human studies have confirmed its effect on blood sugar levels, but comprehensive studies are still ongoing. Why does cinnamon have such a beneficial effect on glucose levels? First, it increases insulin sensitivity, which allows insulin to work more efficiently, resulting in more glucose entering the cells. It also affects the digestive system, specifically the enzymes that digest carbohydrates. This makes them harder and slower to digest and therefore delays their absorption from the intestines into the bloodstream. Cinnamon also contains some substances whose action is similar to insulin, which also contributes to its effectiveness in regulating blood sugar levels. Number two, it has antibacterial, antiviral, and antifungal properties. Cinnamon is used as an expectorant, meaning it can dissolve mucus in your lungs and nose when you are sick. Not only does cinnamon fight infections, but it also inhibits the growth of certain bacteria such as salmonella and is also effective against respiratory infections caused by fungi. When you chew a cinnamon stick, its essential oil enters your body. This oil kills bacteria and helps you get rid of bad breath. It is also good for your teeth and helps prevent tooth decay. Cinnamon is also used as an antiseptic, proving to be effective against certain bacteria and fungi. It is mostly used topically, either directly on the skin or inside the mouth. I'll go into more detail on how to use cinnamon on a daily basis a little later. Number three, eases digestive problems and acts as a prebiotic. Cinnamon is used to stimulate appetite and improve digestion. It is also a carminative, which means it helps to get rid of gas, relaxes the abdominal muscles, and thus reduces abdominal bloating or flatulence. In addition, due to its antispasmodic properties, cinnamon helps to relax the smooth muscles of the digestive tract, minimizing possible discomfort. If you are experiencing similar symptoms, cinnamon can be a great ally. This extract has long been used in Ayurvedic medicine to treat GI and digestive disorders. It promotes the growth of beneficial bacteria and inhibits the growth of pathogens. By regularly including cinnamon in your diet, you will improve your gut health. Number four, helps reduce symptoms of dysmenorrhea. 
Cinnamon serves as both an amenagogue and an anti dysmenorrheal agent. As an amenagogue, it promotes menstrual flow by increasing blood circulation to the pelvic area and uterus in women. This can be especially helpful in cases of amenorrhea, where menstruation is absent for reasons unrelated to pregnancy. However, caution should be exercised because of its ability to stimulate menstrual flow. As an anti dysmenorrheal agent, cinnamon can help relieve menstrual pain. Number 5. Prevents Cardiovascular Diseases Cinnamon plays a protective role in fighting cardiovascular diseases. It helps lower blood cholesterol, reduce triglycerides, regulate blood pressure and stabilize blood sugar levels. Cinnamon's effectiveness in these areas has been confirmed by studies involving test tubes, lab animals, and humans, and the evidence is mounting. However, if you decide to include cinnamon in your diet, be sure to consult your doctor before making any changes to your medications or diet. Number 6. Prevents Neurodegenerative Diseases New research suggests that cinnamon may help fight neurodegenerative diseases, particularly Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, and multiple sclerosis. These findings are based mainly on studies on laboratory animals, and human trials have not yet been conducted. However, early findings are optimistic. Number 7. Protects against cancer. Preventive agent reduces the growth of cancer cells and the formation of blood vessels and tumors. Its pathways of action are not fully understood, but scientists suggest that the product is toxic to cancer cells and causes their death without affecting healthy cells. Studies have already confirmed the effectiveness of cinnamon extract in the fight against colorectal cancer, leukemia. Types of cinnamon that can be consumed in food. There are several types of cinnamon, but the two main ones are Ceylon cinnamon, or true cinnamon, and cassia, or Chinese cinnamon, or stick cinnamon, which is probably the most common in many countries. Ceylon cinnamon is called true cinnamon because it is believed to be somewhat superior to the other species in its medicinal properties. The notable difference between the two is the coumarin content. Ceylon cinnamon contains minimal amounts of coumarins, while cassia contains them in large quantities. Prolonged consumption of large amounts of coumarins can be toxic to the liver, although normal dietary amounts are usually safe. But if you already have liver problems, you should be cautious and favor Ceylon cinnamon or so-called true cinnamon, especially when using it for medicinal or dietary purposes. How can cinnamon be used? We can explore its therapeutic uses, which include infusions such as cinnamon tea, as well as essential oils and other forms. There are also cosmetic uses, such as in creams, ointments, or hair masks. There are other uses, such as as an insect repellent, air freshener, or in gardening to combat certain fungi that can affect plants. What are some other medicinal uses of cinnamon? There are many ways in which it can be used. First is cinnamon tea, which is often prepared as a tea saying, which is cinnamon bark infused in hot water. This soothing beverage can be prepared by infusion or decoction. The main difference between infusion and decoction is the plant, the parts used, and the method of preparation. To prepare infusions, flowers and leaves are usually used and soaked in water for a short period of time. Decoctions, on the other hand, use the tougher parts of the plant, such as the roots and bark, and must be boiled in water, sometimes for several hours. We have supplements in bee and powder form that can be taken directly for medicinal purposes. For this, you will need to consult a professional to advise you on how to consume them, or they can be included in regular food, which is more common. There may also be capsules that contain a powder inside, dosed in standard form, or dry extract that is more concentrated. Thus, it is essential to know what type of capsules belong to. Check the manufacturer's instructions. There are also liquid extracts, which, like tinctures, are liquids. There are also essential oils, which can be derived from either cinnamon bark or cinnamon leaves. There are also poultices, which are direct application of raw fresh herb to the skin, or pastes, in which cinnamon is mixed with other products and applied directly to the skin. Some cultures use mouthwashes as well as steam inhalations. This is when boiling water with cinnamon added is inhaled to treat or improve respiratory infections. 
How do you prepare cinnamon tea? You can prepare both an infusion and a decoction. The method of preparing an infusion is faster. It involves the use of cinnamon powder, that is, ground cinnamon. Ingredients You will need about 1 minus 1.5 teaspoon of Ceylon cinnamon powder, which is equivalent to 2.4 minus 2.5 grams, 204 to minus 250 milliliters of boiled water, standard cup. Note This guide recommends using Ceylon or real cinnamon specifically because of its health benefits and low coumarin content. Care should be taken with cassia, as it contains a significant concentration of coumarins and can cause toxic liver damage. Procedure Pour this powder into a cup of boiled water, about 240 minus 250 milliliters, which is the standard volume for a cup. Stir well, and then let infuse for 5 to 10 minutes, covered with a lid, to allow the flavors to combine and the goodness to dissolve. Serving You can drink this tea either hot or cold, depending on your preference. Some people prefer to strain it first to get a clearer liquid, but either option will do. Others may add a little honey or other sweetener. It's a matter of taste, but it's not necessary. Can cinnamon be mixed with other medicinal plants? Some people mix it with green or black tea, or brew it with ginger, cloves and other medicinal herbs. Combinations are possible. Decoction is used for the harder parts of the plant. For example, in this case, whether powder or sticks, you are dealing with the bark. So a decoction helps extract its valuable substances and nutrients more efficiently. To prepare, first bring water to a boil, then add a cinnamon stick or sprig. Allow the mixture to boil, partially covered with a lid, for about 10 minus 20 minutes, so that the beneficial substances of the cinnamon dissolve completely. After that, strain the liquid. This brewed beverage can be drunk either hot or cold. Some people enhance its flavor by adding some sweetness, such as honey or lemon. If your goal is to lower sugar levels in type 2 diabetes or prediabetes, it is recommended to drink cinnamon tea or cinnamon infusion with meals. However, always consult your doctor before making any major changes to your diet or eating regimen. How much cinnamon tea or cinnamon infusion is recommended daily? It is generally recommended to drink 1 to 2 cups per day, each containing 204 to minus 250 milliliters of water with cinnamon powder. As mentioned above, you should use 1 or 1 and a half teaspoons per cup, where 1 teaspoon equals 2.5 grams of cinnamon. According to the World Health Organization, the maximum daily intake of cinnamon should not exceed 4 grams. This can be divided into 4 servings, each containing between 0.5 and 1 gram. The upper daily limit is between 2 and 4 grams, so these are the recommended amounts. There are other recommendations for the use of cinnamon tinctures or liquid extracts, as well as cinnamon essential oils. It is always best to consult a specialist on these matters. And now pay attention. What are the possible side effects and risks of cinnamon? In general, when consumed in normal doses, it is safe and does not cause any problems. However, when used medicinally, such as in tinctures, it is recommended to use real cinnamon, Ceylon cinnamon. Cassia cinnamon, on the other hand, contains high levels of coumarins, which can lead to toxic effects on the liver. This risk is increased for those who already have liver problems. Taking cinnamon in high doses can cause gastrointestinal problems, including symptoms such as abdominal pain, diarrhea, or general symptoms of digestive upset. Some people may be allergic to the components of cinnamon. Symptoms can range from a skin rash to difficulty breathing. Skin irritation can also occur, especially when applied topically, especially in the form of essential oil, and even more so when not diluted properly. Although cinnamon has various health benefits, its use should be approached responsibly. It is recommended to consult with a healthcare professional when considering therapeutic use or if side effects occur. It is also important to consider possible drug interactions, usually with anti-diabetic medications. This is because the blood sugar lowering effects may be amplified, leading to symptoms, and medication adjustments may be necessary as a result. Also, in the case of anticoagulants, this effect may be amplified, especially in the case of cassia cinnamon, which we mentioned earlier. For medicinal purposes, 
choose Ceylon or True Cinnamon, which has a lower coumarin content. Cassia Cinnamon, although more common, can be dangerous due to its higher coumarin content. It is generally recommended to start with a minimal dose and gradually observe your body's reaction to determine if a slightly higher amount can be consumed. Episodic use of cinnamon for culinary purposes should not be a concern during pregnancy or breastfeeding, but be sure to consult a healthcare provider for complete information. The safety of using medicinal doses of cinnamon during pregnancy and breastfeeding has not been well studied, so caution is best. Benefits and recipe for glue wine. Glue wine translates from German as hot, flaming wine. It is a very tasty alcoholic hot drink based on red wine heated to 7-8 DC with sugar and spices. It is traditionally consumed in Switzerland, Germany, Austria, and the Czech Republic during the mass Christmas holidays. The benefits of mulled wine. Almost no one disputes the fact that mulled wine is useful. There was even an opinion that those who drank wine with spices during the plague did not fall ill with this deadly disease. Mulled wine is an excellent remedy for flu, bronchitis, all kinds of colds, pneumonia. It can be used to restore strength after infectious diseases, mental and physical fatigue, as well as to increase the level of interferon in the blood, strengthen immunity, restore strength. Red wine is an excellent antiseptic with antimicrobial action. It fills the body with vitamins, microelements and amino acids, spices, cardamom, ginger, cinnamon, black pepper, nutmeg, cloves, curry, turmeric, badian, have warming and tonic properties, improve hematopoiesis and blood circulation. If you prepare mulled wine with lemon or black rowan berries, you can significantly increase the level of vitamin C in the body. Danish scientists have proved that red wine can prolong human life, thanks to flavonoids it significantly improves the cardiovascular system, as well as resveratrol, which increases longevity. Substances of grapes, thanks to which the vine does not die for a long time, activate the enzyme that affects the aging gene. Scientists from the Netherlands found out that antioxidants contained in wine help treat even Alzheimer's disease, have the risk of stroke. It should be consumed to prevent blood clots, increase the diameter of blood vessels, reduce blood pressure, eliminate cholesterol. Italian scientists have found that white and red wines effectively destroy streptococcal infections that cause sore throat, pharyngitis, tooth decay. Wine can help in weight correction. There is even a wine diet, the Schelp diet. The fact is that the substances contained in wine are able to correct insulin levels, maintain the right acidity of the stomach, favorably affect digestion, reduce the risk of kidney stones. Recipes of the first mulled wine-like drinks were mentioned in ancient Rome. Wine was mixed with spices, but not heated. And only in the Middle Ages in Europe appeared a real hot mulled wine. The drink was prepared on the basis of claret or Bordeaux with the addition of the herb galangal. Ideal for mulled wine are considered semi-dry and dry red wines, although there are recipes in which rum or cognac are added. In Germany, there are standards according to which the alcohol content should not be less than 7 vol. The main ways of making mulled wine are with and without water. Without water, mulled wine is prepared by heating wine, 7 to minus 78 C, with spices and sugar. The wine is heated over medium heat, stirring occasionally, and left to infuse for 40 minus 50 minutes. Usually cloves, lemon, cinnamon, honey, anise, ginger, as well as oregano and black pepper, cardamom, bay leaf are added to mulled wine. Raisins, nuts, apples are also added. To mulled wine was not very strong, it can be prepared on water. In a container, you need to boil water, 150-200 milliliters of water per liter of wine, and add spices. Cook a little, until you feel the aroma of essential oils. Then add sugar or honey and only at the very end pour in the wine. With any of the methods of cooking mulled wine, never bring it to a boil. Otherwise, it will immediately lose its basic flavors and reduce the alcohol content. Also, you cannot allow excessive use of spices. The drink will be spoiled. Mulled wine can be prepared and non-alcoholic, for example, with cardamom. To do this, mix a third of a teaspoon of cardamom, two cardamom stars, five minus six cloves, a third of a teaspoon of cinnamon, half a stub of ginger, Cut in circles, 
and nutmeg on the tip of a knife. Combine grape juice, 1 liter, with orange or cranberry juice, 200-300 milliliters, and heat until small bubbles appear. Add the pre-mixed spices and leave to infuse for about 15 minutes until the spices start to give off their flavor. Add a few slices of lemon or apple, honey or sugar to taste. Serve the mold wine in ceramic mugs or tall, thick glass glasses with a large handle. Do not drink more than two glasses in one evening because mold wine still contains alcohol and the amount of spices can cause stomach upset. Insulin-dependent diabetics should not drink mulled wine. It is not recommended to drink alcoholic mulled wine to pregnant and lactating women, children under 18 years old, as well as people before driving vehicles and complex technological machines and mechanisms. More information on this topic can be found on our channel. Subscribe, give your likes and watch these helpful videos. We look forward to your comments.